Hi, I just wanted to come on here today and talk about how you know that you are healing on your twin flame journey. So when you begin to love yourself as you are, when you realize that you are more than your physical body, that you are a being of light, that you are beautiful and radiant and flawless, and when you have come to a space which feels peaceful, complete, powerful, and filled with love, you know that you have healed on many levels. Also, when you begin to feel love for everyone around you, for all sentient beings, when you start to know that you are a part of creation and that we are all one, and we start to connect with everyone on a deeper level, when you are no longer crying alone at nights and asking God why you're being tested again and again, you start to accept everything that is happening and you start to begin to feel grateful for finding your twin and realizing that they have been the greatest and best gift ever to you. Also, when you no longer need anyone else to make you happy, but you feel that constant joy and when you can enjoy solitude and time with yourself. Also, when you start to connect with your inner being, your soul, and do start doing what your heart is guiding you to do. And also, when you no longer care about society standards and rules and begin to be as you are and be your authentic self. And when you stop indulging in the dramas of the world, you start to become a neutral observer and let others be as they are and you allow everyone to follow their own inner guidance without judging them. When you fully know in your heart that you and your twin are one and the same, you always have been and you merge in the heart chakra and you feel them with you at all times. And when you realize that you are the script writer, the director, and the producer of your life, and all the events that have been orchestrated by you alone, and for your soul to experience and grow, and when you no longer doubt if your union will be or not be, but you know for certain that it is meant to be because you are the creator of your own life and you are powerful. When you finally realize that the ego and the mind are playing games with you and it has now been lifted so you come to realize you are an eternal soul and you know that you are the I am. So these are just a few examples of how you can know that you are beginning to heal or that you have healed and that you're on the right track and you're, you are in alignment so just keep doing what you're doing and follow your own inner guidance because you are being led to healing. You are being led to union at all times. This is what you have come here to do. You have come here to heal and you have come here to merge with your own soul, to merge with all parts of your soul. And there's nothing that can actually stop this from happening. It is a completely natural process. And you will be led there. There are times that we have to go through the pain. We have to go through the experience. Nobody can do this journey for you. So, you know, a teacher on this journey can only show you what it looks like. But you have to go through it yourself, too. You have to experience everything that they had to experience. We all have to go through the journey. There's really no shortcuts. There's no easy way out. We have to just go through it. And some of the stages on this journey are darker because it's that pain that helps us to grow into the strong powerful being that we are this is how we gain the wisdom it's through going through the process so we can't wish that away we don't want to wish away being in the process of becoming enlightened we don't want to wish away the process that it takes to ascend and yes 
people will tell you it hurts. It doesn't feel good at times. We have to purge. We have to cry. We have to come to some of our darkest places. We have to face our shadows. We have to face our traumas. We, we really do, and we have to move through the energy to really let it peel away in layers to reveal our authentic self, our higher self, to, to purify so that we can truly become our divine self and connect with divine source and be linked in to that. So we can't wish it away, but these, like I said, are some signs that you are getting there and that you're on the right track. I'm going to go ahead and leave this here for now. I thank you very much for listening, and I will talk to you later. Bye.